So this is the uh, introduction video to the FedArm 22 long rifle rimfire loading machine. Uh, so we're just going to go over some of the uh, stations, some of the features, and the menus and everything on this. Just to give you a quick introduction to it. Uh, there'll be a separate video on how to operate. But so first thing we're going to go over is the menu and the PLC, the HMI control system here. So. Uh, first thing, if you want to zoom in and try to, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it with all this dust and the flare, but is that coming up pretty well on the camera? It is now. Okay, so on this is mainly a menu. So on here, you're going to see uh, the main menu of this thing, which starts the cycle, stops the cycle, has a counter on it, and then here you have your alarms and your messages. So as you see here, uh, each thing has all the stations that are on here, it tracks each station, and so you can individually turn off and on the stations, clear them out. So now we're going to slowly flip through each part of the, the machine. So the servo station, the casing loader station, it gives you a full graphic layout. It tells you if it's retracted or if it's uh, advanced forward. You can reset it. You can clear any alarms from there. If you have a jam, it'll tell you exactly where to go to clear it. It's very straightforward, and depending on which country you're in, specifically this one's going to be translated to Russian for you or whatever uh, language you need. You have each station from here, from each, going around the machine as we will, you'll see each station has its own menu. And this is very responsive, high resolution touchscreen. It's very durable. And so, and then you can change some settings on here too to turn off certain features and bullet counter, so on and so forth. So next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to look over the feeding system for this machine. So the first one here is the casing feeder. This is your standard vibratory bowl. So I'm just going to quickly flip it on for you if you uh, want to zoom in on the top and show them how it works. And you see how the vibration... They orient the casings down from these tracks, and then they flip them over at this flipping station here, and then they go down these three tubes, nose down, I mean, sorry, rim down, and then they go down these tubes here, all the way to the bottom to the loading station here. So you can go flip that light on, so we get so. All right, so now you're gonna come around this way. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but I want you to get right in there, and then zoom in a little bit, or bring that camera a little closer. And this station here, after the casings get loaded, we're gonna be using these three proximity sensors to make sure there's a casing in each station. So if there's not, something happened, you, know, you can quickly put one in there, clear any jam. So going on forward here, you have an empty station and then you have the flaring station. The flaring station here puts the flare on the casings and it opens the mouth up so it can receive a bullet. Next is an empty station, empty station, then you have your powder drop station if you want to watch a step and come on over here. The powder drop station uses gravity and three measured bushings to drop the powder down into the casings there. Next, for here, we have our various options for the powder check. This is just an infrared or, or, or proximity-based powder check that detects color. It's a fiber optic sensor, so it just detects presence of powder since they're dropped by a fixed amount for these bushings. If you wanted, we can put a full dedicated laser checking system in there. You can pick that up. This is the bullet loader station. So we'll send you a 3D model or paste into the video of how this thing works. It feeds in from these bullet feeder tubes. If you want to get up here and show them the bullet feeder. So this is the bullet collating feeder. It works the same way as the other one. As you can see, it feeds just that way. Here we're loading lead-free frangible copper bullets. We can load lead, we can load lead-free, we can load pretty much any type of bullet that you want to load. So this slides the bullets over the casings and then seats them. So here right now, this specific machine is built with a taper crimp. Most customers will prefer a roll crimp or a crimp that happens from the side instead of the top. So this is adjustable based on the type of ammunition you're running. And if you want to just get in close to that die and show them how that die works. And you know, actually getting close there all the way in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cycle the station. Now, I'm gonna show you that you can cycle any part of the machine at any time from this control panel. So there it is going down and there it is going up. And you can see how fast this cycles even with the pneumatic option. And each of these uh, these pneumatic actuators can be set to do up to four tons of pressure. So it's plenty enough to do any rim fire and easy. So did you notice that the light stopped flashing when we put the, the bullet in there? So the loaded cartridge, these are presence sensors to make sure you got a bullet and you didn't lose a bullet in the process. And if it if it doesn't if it detects a fault here like that. It's going to tell you on here and tell you to check the station. And then finally here, you have the eject station, which I'm going to run this for you real quick. So that if you notice, zoom in real close right here and show them these air jets. So these air jets here, uh, 
use just air pressure to catch the bottom of the rim and eject it out. So you'll watch it here. So we'll, do you see that? That's how it ejects, just that simply so it doesn't damage the rounds at all. It's very safe on the rounds, doesn't mar the rims or anything like that. And then finally, if you somehow fail to eject, you have a proximity sensor here. Each station is, load, is labeled and you can clear it and you can see the function going on each one. So finally, you have an emergency soft for safety if there's any air pressure issues or anything like that. We'll come around this side. So here you see the air pressure regulator and then the controller which is usually linked to the PLC so you have no air pressure issues. Um, it also has a water trap inside of it. And then lastly we can wire this machine up for European voltage, Asian voltage, American voltage, uh, whatever your, your requirements need. For this customer we use the productivity series PLC. Based on which country that you're based in, we can use any type of PLC that you want as long as we can just pour our code over to it. And so uh, it has breakers down there, pneumatic controls, everything is wired professionally, it's a clean layout. So that's pretty much an introduction to the whole machine. Uh, if you have any further questions, just contact us with information posted on the video. And if you want to see this video posted in your own language, we can translate it and dub it for you as need be.